Hello everyone, I'm Serene Mercado and welcome to this special edition of Inside Buena Park. Today I find myself at the state of the art facility for the agricultural program here at Buena Park High School. I had the opportunity to interview the department chair, the principal, and even some of the students that are currently working out in the field and in the barns. So why don't you take a tour with me and find out what's making this program so popular every year. Tucked away behind Buena Park High School is a small and prospering piece of land that is also having a positive impact on Buena Park High School students. It's called the Future Farmers of America program and it's teaching students about the values of agriculture. The mission statement of the program is, FFA makes a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education. And the FFA motto is learning to do, doing to learn, earning to live, living to serve. And from what I saw at the FFA, I believe these students are learning lessons that will truly help them in their future. I met with Jessica Fernandez, the advisor of Future Farmers of America, and found out since her involvement in the program, she has managed to develop it to be very successful. So here we are at the state-of-the-art facility at Buena Park High School, and I'm here accompanied by Jessica Fernandez, which is the department chair of the agriculture program. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you for coming out today. Well, thank you for allowing us to visit and for explaining to us a little bit about this program. We can see that there's a lot going on. It seems like a very, very busy day. So let us know a little bit about this program and what it's all about. The agriculture program has three major components, one of them being classwork, one of them being FFA, which is all leadership experiences, and one of them being uh, supervised agriculture experiences, which relates to the students' agriculture product projects. When we teach the science curriculum, the students are getting hands-on experience utilizing our outdoor classroom lab here, uh, being able to work with the farm that we have to really learn the curriculum. So for example, in, in agri-science, they do a unit on soils and the level of soils that there are. And what better opportunity than to be able to bring them outside and have the students do hands-on soil tests and really learn the layers, the levels of soil that are available even right here at our school and how different it is from what's available at their house. In our veterinary science class, those students are training to be veterinarians. They learn how to give shots. They learn how to read medication bottles and administer different kinds of medication. They learn how to weigh the animals and do handling and restraint. And then in our floral design classes, we grow some of our own flowers here for the use of the floral design class, as well as teaching the kids how to make floral arrangements. And we have uh, on our website the opportunity to purchase uh, packages of floral arrangements throughout the year. So that class is actually funded by community support purchasing those packages. So there's several things that the students gain from being part of this program, which is the core requirements, the hands-on experience, and even a little bit of business on the side and learning a little bit about that. Yes, the other components of the grade, uh, one of them is 20% um, FFA or leadership experiences, which has the students getting involved in speaking contests and also uh, career development events such as judging teams and things of that nature and they can also participate in social activities here where we do team building um, and communication exercises to enhance their overall leadership skills. That's worth points on their grade and then the last part of their grade is having an agriculture experience. Earning 50 hours a year of work outside of class time in some type of an agriculture field and here today you will see a variety from uh, students who work in the floral industry, to students who work in the veterinary hospitals, to students who raise animals here for the first time in their life, maybe the very first time that they're responsible for something besides themselves. Uh, but we also do production agriculture with uh, growing lettuce and watermelons and citrus for our school district cafeterias. And students, everything you see when you walk around the facility today, including this waterfall that we're standing in front of, the lawn that you're standing on, is all maintained by students. This is nothing that us as teachers do. We simply are here to facilitate these students. And, uh, and I know one of the key words you mentioned was community. And I know that this particular program at the school has been recognized for 
their community involvement as well and everything that this program is uh, doing in the lives of the students. Can you talk a little bit about that Golden Bell Award that you guys received? We did get a Golden Bell in 2011 and the Golden Bell was based on our community support. Um, we actually have a couple different kinds of community support. Our main one was a corporate sponsor that donated all of our soil and nutrient needs so that we could get our farmland up and growing. This corporate sponsor came in and did uh, independent lectures with our students on pruning and fertilizing and things like that. Uh, but it's because of those corporate relationships and uh, the school professors from Cal Poly and Mount Sac that still come out and help our program today that we were able to receive that Golden Bell. I reach congr congratulations and I know I'm really excited to just see the rest of the facility. I was able to see around the facility and was impressed by the activity of the students. I was able to talk with a few of them about their experience in the FFA program. So here I am with Raymond. He is a junior here at Buena Park High School. And what type of class are you taking here at the agriculture program? At the agriculture program, I'm taking a vet science class. So that's teaching us all about the animals, what kind of tools we use, how we take care of them. So it's just a all, whole bunch of different type of stuff for on-farm kind of activities. Awesome, and I see we have a friend over here. Yeah. Can you tell us about this person, this person? What did I say this person? This, well, steer. <laughs> um, this here is a red Angus. He is, he's probably about a year and three months. His name is Bradford. Um, he probably weighs about 1,200 pounds. And um, yeah. They'll get to about 1,400 pounds when we get ready to slaughter them for meat. So that's so he's almost to his point. So one of what are some of the specific things that you've learned in how to taking of taking care of animals? Well, taking care of animals, I've learned a lot of responsibility because it's a huge. Uh, the steers, it's a nine-month project. You come every morning and every night, so it's a lot of work, and you learn a lot of responsibility throughout the project. So give me an example of what a, a normal day would be in taking. A normal care day of uh, here at the farm. In the mornings, we'll come down, we'll feed them. And then they'll go all day and do whatever they do, eat, whatever. And then we come back in the afternoon, we'll clean their pen, feed them. If you want to give them a bath, you can give them a bath. Just keep them ready, I guess. And you yeah. said it's a nine-month program? Nine-month nine project for the steers, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And so I also see you're wearing a very specific particular uniform. Tell us about this uniform and the logo. The uniform, it's, um, it's our FFA uniform. It's worn in all 50 states. Um, the patch on the front is always the same, but on the back, it has, us, it has California. Okay, let's see that. On the top, it has California, and then on the bottom, it has Buena Park. So different states and different chapters, you'll have different, um, you'll have the different state and you'll have a different chapter. So it just depends on where you're at. So what is one of the things that you really enjoy and have uh, learned to, to appreciate from this program? Um, I learned to appreciate just like my love for animals. At first, I wanted to be a uh, a baseball player or uh, professional sports, and then I got into the ag program my freshman year, and it kind of just blew up for me. And now I want to be a vet. I want to go to a vet school, and that's that's where it's kind of brought me. So I know not all the students have been part of the agriculture program. So. What do you think you would tell other students that have no idea or have a misconception of what this program might be about? Well, some kids, they think that the program is just like, oh, you get to raise animals and, oh, that's, that's dumb. But through the project, you learn all the responsibility and at the end, you get the check and it's like, oh, this is kind of cool. So then you go out and you tell your friends and you tell them what you get to do and then they're like, whoa, that's kind of cool. And then they go and tell their friends and it just turns into like a big old chain and that's where we get all our kids from. So everyone is realizing how cool the program really is. Yes, yeah. So you said this is your junior year, so are you planning on taking one more class next yeah, year? Yeah, next year I'm going to take Ag Econ, so that's going to teach us everything we need to know as far as um, money-wise, I guess you would say, for that. Excellent.
so here I am at the pig barn, correct? And your name is Amanda. Amanda, what grade are you in? I'm a junior currently this year, about to be a senior. Oh wow, there's a lot of noise going on. What's happening? Tell me. They're just all hungry. They want food. They're pigs. They're, they're beasts when it comes to eating. <laughs> oh wow, have you guys been feeding them or what? <laughs> well, I'm going to be feeding mine pretty soon. I don't know about anyone else, but... So tell us a little bit about why you're taking this class in particular and a little bit about your own pig. Well, I'm taking this class because one, it gets me college credit. And two, because I've always been fascinated with the idea that I can raise farm animals in the city. And what better opportunity than to take on the project and just raise pigs, raise steers, lambs, anything that I can to get into the idea that I can be in the city but also be a farmer as well. Is this something that you see yourself pursuing in the future somehow? Yeah, I actually want to go to Tennessee State after I graduate, um, major in animal sciences and also minor in public speaking so that way I can be a teen motivational speaker for others but also on the side be a cattle farmer as well and help feed the world. So you talked about being a motivator, right, yeah. for other students. There's some students here on campus who don't really know about the program. What would you tell them? I would tell them that it's an amazing program that gets you into the idea of family. And honestly, some people don't have the best families at home. And when I walk into my classroom, I know that I have a group of students, over 500 to be exact, that have my back in any situation. And if I need to talk to someone, I have a variety of people to choose from. And the FFA is definitely my second family, I would have to say. And we know you have this particular pig. What's the name? Her name is Bennett, and she is a purebred Berkshire. Um, she's the cutest little thing I've ever had, and she even knows her name. But she's adorable, and I love her so much. So what are the things that you've learned in class in regards to taking care of the pig? And what is, a, a, like, one of your days, what does it look like? What do you do? Well, on Mondays, we take all of the pigs out, and we take them to our scale over here and we weigh them to find out what their rate of gain is daily and also um, how much they're weighing in so that way we can figure out how much more we need to feed them to get them to fair weights so that way we can sell them in auction. Excellent. Wow, you're definitely learning so much and I'm learning just from hearing from you. I was surprised to see all the land the students have to work with for the agricultural part of the program. So here we are in this huge piece of land. So what's your name and tell me a little bit about where we are right now. Hello, my name's Adelina and we're in our field out back where we grow lettuce and watermelon and it's um, about an acre and we gained it in 2011 that we used to farm and all the produce that we grow here then goes to the district and is distributed to the students. Oh, wow, impressive. So I hear that you've been part of this program for quite a while. Tell us a little bit about your experience. I started my freshman year, and I first started like getting an animal, and that was it. And then I started noticing the leadership skills in agriculture, and I just started becoming officers, and it just went from there, and it led me to coming back and helping out. So I think that's something interesting. You were part of this program here. Now you're a college student and you returned to, to continue being part of this. Obviously, this is something you want to pursue? Yes, it is. I want to become an agriculture teacher. I'm very thankful for the agriculture teachers I was able to have. And I love the opportunities it gives students and experience. And that's why I want to like be an agriculture teacher. And so you have uh, learned to have an appreciation and, and a passion for agriculture, and that's why you want to pursue being a teacher. Um, so what are some of the things that you would tell the students or parents or younger kids who are learning about this program for the first time? What would you tell them to encourage them to be part of it? I, for the parents, it's, it's a lot of res um, responsibility. responsibility, but we gain so much out of it. I know that compared to some of my friends, I'm more responsible, I know how to manage my time, and it teaches us valuable lessons that we can carry on in life. And for the students, it's 
you get to meet new people because we travel to Fresno State. We can travel all over the place because of our culture. And you just um, get to meet amazing people and travel. And that's something that I would encourage them to try. And what is your specific position in this program now? I am considered the farmhand. Um, and I help out either running errands, helping out students with projects, or um, I am also in, like one of the people in charge of this field and just helping out around the farm. Excellent. Well, thank you so much again for your dedication and, and your passion, and we can see it. And, and we'll be seeing some harvest here, right? Yes, we are. There's currently watermelons, different types of melon, watermelons, honeydew, cantaloupe that are in the ground right now. We planted them this week, and hopefully in August, students will be eating them. Can I come by and taste? <laughs> yes, awesome. you can. Thank you so much for your time. After talking with some of the students, I spoke with Buena Park High School principal, Jim Coombs, and he explained how the program has grown and how it benefits the students. Most of what you see here wasn't here six years ago. Uh, there were uh, no trees, no plants, no uh, orchards, and about three animals and 62 kids. Uh, one teacher, uh, really not enough for one teacher, and has grown in the last six years to going into next year, we have 546 students enrolled which is uh, basically 28% of our entire student population take an ag science class. Uh, three full-time teachers and over 150 head of livestock currently here getting ready for the Orange County Fair. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. It's almost magical to watch. Absolutely. And we know that you guys have been recognized with the Golden Bell Award. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, absolutely. The California School Boards Association each year select uh, Golden Bell Award winning programs from across the United State of California. Uh, this last year, uh, Buena Park High School's Ag program was recognized as one of those top programs that it basically re in, reinstitute and revitalize high schools. And so that program was there. I'd also share one that's even bigger than that. Um, last year, Buena Park High School's Ag program was recognized as the number one high school ag program in the Western United States, which takes in Oregon, Colorado, or excuse me, Oregon, Washington, California, Nevada, Arizona. So it, and you look around, it, it is impressive. Absolutely. So what are some of the different things that we will see here on, on this campus? So one of the things you'll see, uh, and it, what's interesting is it is all student run. The three teachers act as facilitators. Everything you see here is student run. So you'll see horticultural program that includes the nursery, the greenhouse, the, the orchards. And out back we have the back 40, which is a uh, plot of ground that we put in last year where we grow pumpkins in the summer and lettuce in the fall. And so last year we, we harvested 1,500 pumpkins off of just a piece of dirt that wasn't supposed to grow anything. And then on this part of the facility, you'll see both steers, uh, sheep, pigs, dairy calves, chickens, turkeys, rabbits. For And we actually, as I shared with you a minute ago, uh, it's a 4-H program for the junior high and elementary students. That's not really part of the high school, but it's a feeder program. And then for the high school students, FFA, which is the 450, 546 kids next year. And um, we also know that, you know, this has definitely a positive impact on the students. So what are some of the things that you've seen that this um, uh, influences in the students? Um, obviously, there's a huge amount of leadership that students learn, a self-reliance, independent. They run it. They do the work. That includes scraping the manure up. That includes going to the Orange County Fair in full uniform, showing animals. So it's the high end and the Absolutely. dirty end. Uh, but I also would share this. There's, we can go student by student, and you will see students here that we're, we're going to drop out of high school. And I can name them. I wouldn't do that with district folk, but they were going to drop out. They are graduating this year in 3.0, 3.5 GPAs because they got involved, they found a home, and they found self-value. And I don't mean a 3.0 just in ag, but a 3.0 in their entire high school career. And these are students that were not going to graduate as freshmen. So it has revolutionized students' lives, which... Most of them won't go on to ag as a career. Some are, much more than normal, but they will be successful citizens of their community because of that. And that makes you a very proud principal. Absolutely. And that's the, that's the number one priority. Our kids will graduate and they'll go on to college, study other things, and be successful people.
Okay, so I had the chance to tour the facility and be able to talk to some of the students and I'm completely impressed with all the work that's going on here. Lots of hard work. They even shared what their daily um, activities are. Very impressive. So my question is for those students who um, have not been part of the program or are interested, those who are watching, what can they do? You can join this program at any time if they are members and students at Buena Park High School, all they need to do is see their counselor to figure out which course they could get into immediately. If you're a junior high student, they also could talk to their counselors at the junior high, but we also do monthly recruitments at our local junior highs to let the kids know about the program. Additionally, anybody can check out our website at BuenaParkFFA.com. Our emails are on there so they could email us and ask us questions at any time. And then for the younger kids, we also give elementary school tours throughout the school year where they come and do eight to 12 different activities having to deal with agriculture. They get to tour the facility, play fun games, uh, eat some good food, and learn about agriculture while they're here. Well, thank you so much for allowing us to come and visit, for allowing us to speak with the students, and we wish you guys the best and continue the hard work. It's definitely paying off. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So I hope you have enjoyed your time as much as I have. I know I've learned so much about what makes this program so special. So for those of you who want to learn more and how to get involved, go ahead and check out the Buena Park High School website. So reporting for the Inside Buena Park, I'm Serene Mercado. Until next time.